And thank you, Admiral. Two questions about this whole series of, of military uh, shootdowns. Uh, first, it defies reason that you would have zero idea what these three objects were since uh, the fighter jets themselves took video of their sorties. Will you release the cockpit videos from those missions? I have to refer you to DOD on, on that, James, in terms of releasing the imagery. I never said we had zero idea. I said we don't know what they are, and so did the president. The president also told you that the intelligence community's leading explanations at this point are that they were a benign purpose, probably commercial, recreation, or scientific research. But uh, we, we, we may not be able to go to 100% certainty on that, unless or until we can get to the debris and analyze it. And as I said earlier, that task alone is going to be very difficult. And I can't predict with certainty that we're actually going to be able to get uh, recovered the debris. But we never said we had no idea. We have, we can't prove definitively. The intelligence community has helped us try to do some uh, analysis on this, and that's their leading explanation. So you have tried to uh, portray this entire sequence of events as one in which the commander in chief demonstrated um, good judgment at the right time and did the right things. Um, the president's critics obviously see it differently. And what they depict is a commander in chief who, uh, according to the Washington Post reporting, uh, was able to track this uh, Chinese spy balloon from the inception of its mission off of Hainan Island uh, all the way to U.S. airspace and across the country. And eventually that was shot down after the Chinese had had a good look at whatever they wanted to see with that balloon, and who then uh, presided over a, a series of missions in which uh, millions and millions of dollars were spent and, and missiles were fired at objects that you now concede most likely were benign in nature. And that suggests a commander-in-chief who um, overreacted after allowing the Chinese spy balloon to do what it did, and then went trigger happy on a bunch of kites and, and balloons that had no military threat to them. What do you say to that depiction of events? I've already, I've already reacted to that exact criticism in the first question of the briefing. I've already reacted to it. Nobody, no Americans in the air were hurt. No Americans on the air, were, uh, in the ground were hurt, James. No significant surveillance achieved by the Chinese spy balloon. Um, and uh, and now we have an opportunity to learn even more about this program, a program that we started to really study in earnest when we came into office. Um, no apologies here. You make the best decisions you can with the information you have and at the recommendation of the leaders of, uh, in the Defense Department who are going to have to execute on that mission. The president did exactly that. He put the safety and security of the American people first. And he will never apologize for that. Knowing everything you know now, knowing everything he knows now, would he take the exact same steps and shoot off these expensive missiles at these benign objects? We're going to put some more policy parameters in place, James, to govern the way we handle these going forward. You make the best decisions you can with the information you have at the recommendation of military leaders. I can't say it any more than that.